Belarusian watch brand Kavalina continues to delight its fans. Today Mechanics. Hi friends, I'm Victor, you're on the Pro Watch channel. Today we have a new model from the Belarusian brand Kavalina. This brand has already gathered a lot of fans and they stand out probably, first of all, with their bright design, their non-standard approach. They are not afraid to experiment, and for these experiments, they are loved not only by you and me as connoisseurs of watch art, but Villena wins prestigious international awards in the field of design. So, this collection that you and I are going to look at today, LNMR, it won a gold award in the Muse Design Awards, and it won an award in the German Design Awards, 2024. Indeed, the collection is interesting, I once shot a quartz version of such a felina, but today we have a mechanical. The guys realize that we can develop a little bit. We can continue a little bit. After all, the concept is really non-standard. And in mechanical watches, we have here, probably on the box, you can see that we have an interesting non-standard approach in general. If you remember, once upon a time pocket watches, for example, were wound even before the appearance of the crown, translating crown, were wound with a special key. Cavalina remembered this moment, took it into account, and here we will wind the watch with a separate key. But of course, there is also a classic crown. You should not worry about it. In general, the new collection, well, relatively new if I may say so, LNMR is dedicated to the Industrial Revolution, and specifically to the event of 1830th year, the opening of the Manchester Liverpool Railroad. And the collection is called LNMR. It's short for Liverpool and Manchester Railway. Well, actually, this event was the beginning of the development of all railway transportation and became a kind of a symbol of progress of that time. And what I like, Valina always pleases its customers with a cool, First of all, box. Come on, look, there's a beautiful drawing inside. Let's open it up. What do we have? A black envelope, in which there is information about, actually, the collection. Thank you for purchasing the Huilin watch. Okay, great, about the collection. Characteristics of the watch. Instructions, delivery set, rules of use, warranty, all information is duplicated in English. Well, under the envelope, we have the watch itself, the strap, and the winding key separately. Okay, let's try it. Let's try to get it all out. Let's try to put it together. Well, let's put, probably, a quick-release strap right away. If a company makes, respectively, a separate strap, or an additional strap in a set, then I think it is just a sacred duty to make a strap on a quick release system. So, black leather strap, red lining, and steel case. Let's say it's a rectangular oval watch, mechanical. This is immediately obvious from the window in the position here between 2 and 3 o'clock. The back cover is transparent. We can see the mechanism. Here, by the way, a rather top-notch myota is installed, but we'll get to the mechanism a little later. And we see the inscription, Rocket. Well, Rocket, yes, if I may say so. This is, in fact, the name of one of the trains that ran along the very railroad. There are several colors in the collection. Black, white, green dial. There is a black dial in a gold-plated case. Well, and accordingly, each model is named one of the types of steam locomotives that ran on the railroad. Rocket, Phoenix, and other steam locomotives. Actually, you can choose the option that is more interesting to you. And let's immediately determine why we need this key in the set. And we need it to conveniently translate the hands on the clock. Accordingly, in such a state, when we put on the strap, it is possible to start the watch, in principle. Well, plus, it is self-winding. But it is not so convenient to wind the watch. Pull out the crown and turn the hands. You can but it's not the best option. And, accordingly, we can insert the key into the crown, and it is much easier, first of all, to wind the watch. 
It's an interesting sensation to wind a wristwatch with a key. Well, unexpected, really, and, accordingly, we can pull out the crown like this, insert the key, and turn the hands more accurately, more conveniently. Obviously, it is not always convenient to carry this key with you. Accordingly, yes, it can banally get lost simply. You can manage without it. Yes, even if it is absolutely inconvenient, you can remove the strap, pull out the crown without any problems, turn the hands, there is no terrible tension here. But, of course, it is more interesting with the key in the first place. By the way, the design of this crown, which they call the Valina Winder, is made with a reference to industrial-style aesthetics and signature engraving. What about the case? The case, again, is reminiscent of a railroad track. Yes, well, absolutely, those two side edges are a clear reference to a railroad. The main inner part is also steel. We have mirror polishing everywhere, a neat dial. And let's take a look at the dial, by the way. Here, well, as if a separate circle is inscribed in a rectangle, white round dial in the center. The rays diverge here. Well, again, some railroad references or just design. The applied markers are quite interestingly shaped hands. Our hand, with three of these black dots. Minute with a black stripe. There's no second hand. And, in principle, it is not needed. We can see that the watch is working thanks to such a window with an open balance. At the bottom is the inscription Liverpool and Manchester Railway and the Valen logo, actually, in the position of 12 o'clock. No information on where the watch is made or anything like that here. Oh well, nothing superfluous, all neat, all quite elegant. And by the way, I like the steel base, if I may say so. The dial is rectangular. It looks good, interestingly made. Well, you could probably make the center circle as well. Well, Huelan's designers know best. They get the prizes, not me. And let's turn our model over. Here we have the back cover. It seems to be screwed and screwed, and the center part of it is screwed separately. If you look at the image on Valina's website, there they show how the case is actually made, all its elements separately. And you can understand that, in fact, yes, you can unscrew the cover with glass separately, and you can use screws to unscrew the main rectangular back cover. It's not so easy to unscrew the center part, though. There is such a toothed wheel here. Well, and, accordingly, probably need a special wrench to banally not scratch the surface of the back cover. At the bottom, by the way, we have the model number. Only 200 copies were made. And let's look directly at the mechanism. Here we have a caliber from Myote, 9029 premium automatic, 24 joules, power reserve 42 hours, accuracy within minus 10 plus 30 seconds per day. And what's interesting, on the rotor of the automatic, here we see the inscription, Japan, Myota Corporation, 24 joules, and painted exactly here is a train, a rocket, a rocket, yes, which goes on the railroad Liverpool-Manchester. Not a bad finish on this caliber, by the way. Everything is done at a very decent level. Well, indeed, the mechanism of the Miat 9029 is not the simplest. It is good, decent, of great quality, and looks much nicer than, for example, the NH35 caliber and similar ones. I like the Miota much better in that respect. As for the glass, here the upper main glass is rectangular, flat, slightly, slightly protruding above the case. At the back, accordingly, there is a round glass so that we could watch the self-winding rotor and the work of the mechanism. And both of these glasses are sapphire. And the water resistance of the watch is declared 50 meters. Well, that is, it is quite normal for every day, for office watches, well, in which you are not going to conquer the depths, in general, everything looks very interesting, very decent. A cool watch, in my opinion. Let's see how it fits on your wrist. I have a hand circumference of 17 and a half centimeters. Oops, let's see. Well, overall, I can't say they're big. Rectangles always feel a little different on the hand. Rectangles, 
squares, and I like the way the lugs wrap around the way they go down. I mean, it creates a little bit more comfort when wearing them. They fit absolutely comfortably, nothing is straining. The only thing that may cause a question is, now I noticed you can see this pin, which we pull to remove the strap, right? It doesn't seem to catch the eye that much. And when the watch is lying flat, you can't see it. On the hand, due to the fact that the strap goes away, a little bit noticeable. Is it critical? I think not at all. In general, the watch looks very neat, nice and stylish. The time is read without any problems. You can see the workings of the movement. If you like an open balance, this is generally the one for you. Well, there are both supporters, let's say, of such a system and ardent opponents. In general, I am absolutely calm about it. If it fits into the concept, it's pretty cool. The watch turned out to be quite interesting in my opinion. A cool set, a cool model itself. There are different versions. As for the price, it's about 26,000 rubles on the Valina website. You can order it, you can take it, you can make yourself happy for the new year. Well friends, I also want to please you, congratulate you on the approaching new year. Well, depending on when you watch this video, of course. And let's raffle off this watch. Some of you will get it for free. All you need to do is to leave one comment under this video on YouTube. And after some time among the comments, I will randomly choose a winner and send you this Havelina. The watch is really cool. I'm sure it deserves your attention. So write your thoughts. Let's discuss. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in the new issue. Bye.